my name's Karen. This is my friend Patty. We are so excited to finally be on the air. Oh, we're so excited. We're so excited. <laughs> so excited. So you know, excited. this whole project, Karen, has been such a labor of love, and we just hope all of you guys enjoy our little show. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, Karen, how you been? Oh, you know, I've been great. Thank you for asking. You know, the other night I went out with, uh, I went out with Bill. Bill's and, her, her hubby. Oh, yeah. Hi, sweetie. I went out with Bill. He's my hubby. And uh, we went to the TGI Fridays. Karen, that's so nice. And it wasn't even a Friday. I know. <laughs> so, so what'd you order? Oh, um, I got those wonton taco thingamabobs. Oh, and, uh, oh, a slice of cheesecake. Oh, I'm so bad. No, you're so bad. <sighs> I'm so bad. Anyway. We're getting off track. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we start with some of those hot topics, huh? Yeah. Well, well. Here's something that uh, everyone's talking about. How about um? How about that Donald Trump fell? Oh, good lord. Oh god. You know, after that Super Tuesday, they're saying he might win the Republican nomination. Oh god. You know, you know me, Patty. I don't like talking politics, but I just do not know what people see in this fella. Right. I know he's a he's a strange fellow. That is for sure. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Sure is. Sure is. Oh, but his wife. Oh, his wife. <laughs> God, what's her name? Um, Melissa Margarita so it's, Macarena. It's Mel Melania. Oh, Melania. 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 <laughs> oh, gosh. She's be beautiful. Wouldn't she make a nice little first lady? Oh, gosh, she sure would. <laughs> Regular <laughs> Jackie O, that Melania. Oh, yeah, she is. She is. Well, you know what? Let's move on to some hotter topics. Oh, okay, hotter yeah. topics. Let's go. How about those uh, those little uh, those uh, lice, those super lice, that, super lice that are invading the country? Oh, good lord! Super yeah, lice? Yeah, apparently there are new kind of lice that uh, even special shampoos and medicine can't kill. Oh gosh! Yeah. Oh hey, you know what? I bet that's what that Donald Trump fella has—the super lice. That's why his hair looks all discombobulated. You know what? I bet. I bet that's right. You know what? Maybe that's what he should be uh, keep keeping away from our country. Not those Mexicans, but those super lice. Oh gosh, Patty! Oh god, you cracked me up. Anyway. You know, we can't sit here laughing all day. Why don't we bring out our first guest? You know what? Why don't we bring out our first guest? Our first guest is a really special guy. I am so proud of him. He just got nominated. Actually, you know what? He is now the drum major of his high school band, My Son Dylan. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. no. Honey, sit Come between here. us, honey. Oh, gosh, Dylan, you look so big. You know, I remember when your mom was bringing you home from the hospital. You know what? 48 hours of labor, but he was worth every push. Aww. You know what? You got something right mom. there. What is that? Oh, Patty, hold Dylan. on. Dylan, you got it on Dylan. this side, too. Mom! Oh, Jesus, Dylan. Dylan, why don't you tell us all about your new marching band thing? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I got promoted to drum major. <laughs> Oh, wow. band. oh, that's so special, huh? Yeah, I get to stand on a ladder and conduct everybody. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. Honey, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, Dylan, my hubby Bill, when he was in high school, he used to be the drum major of the marching band. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Although, you know what, though? I'm sure he didn't look half as cute as you do. You know what? He didn't. Um, actually, we have a picture for everyone right over there. Oh, what a little cutie patootie. Hasn't he grown so much in the last oh, he sure year? Has. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Mom. Uh, looks like someone's a little embarrassed. Oh, no. Well, hey, why don't we take a commercial break? When we come back, my Aunt Barb's going to teach us how to make her famous green bean hot dish. <laughs>
website Pornhub revealed America's most rated search term to be lesbian. Yeah, while well, Google revealed lesbian's most popular search term to be flannel. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> you done? Yeah. All right. A farm in Ohio has the words no Trump written so large in manure that it can be seen by overhead planes, which is weird because I thought Trump and bullshit go hand in hand. <laughs> okay. um, a two-year-old girl called 911 in distress last week because she couldn't properly put her pants on. Okay, I get it. When she does it, it's cute. But when I call 911, it's all, Serafina, you're 20. You should know how to put on your pants. And Serafina, you're drunk. Please stop calling us. <laughs> Pigs. <laughs> All right, that one wasn't good. Uh, so a wildlife photographer this week captured a photo of a flock of birds that flew in the shape of a penis. Oh it's not even the joke. <laughs> Most people call it a random act of nature, but I choose to see it as a good omen for my weekend. <laughs> A wildlife photographer this week captured a photo of a flock of birds that flew in the shape of a penis. Huh, I guess they're headed south. <laughs> a wildlife photographer this week captured... <laughs> yeah, there's more, I wasn't lying. Um, a wildlife photographer this week captured a photo of a flock of birds that flew in the shape of a penis. Scientists conclude that birds must be in their early 20s, seeing as they usually fly in the shape of a V, but they're experimenting with something different. <laughs> All right. Uh, NASA estimates... Oh, you're not going to like this. Okay. Uh, NASA estimates that during his year in space, astronaut Chris Kelly drank almost 200 gallons a water filtered from his own urine and sweat. Oh, Send me to space, said Flint, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been reported that former Subway spokesperson Jared Fogle has already gained 30 pounds while in prison which is weird because his diet still mainly consists of footlongs. <laughs> we have a really great show for you tonight! Um, the orchestra manager of the opera department, Gabriela Gonzalez, is here to talk about the Crucible. Uh, Mike Waters is our musical guest. And uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back. Bye-bye. Wow! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Phil Blaskus here. So I don't really know who I'm voting for yet. Maybe no one. This isn't, this isn't, you're not Kanye West at the Grammys. You don't need to grab the mic, man. So 
uh, Ryan, are you voting this this year? I hope to. Yes. For what? Bernie Sanders? That's not a what. That's a who. People are staring at me. People are staring at me. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Thank you very much, sir. All right, have a good night. How's that? How's that, guys? tickets the day of correct so mm -hmm. students take this opportunity go see an amazing opera and then um, talk a little bit about your role as uh, the orchestra manager within the department okay so I've been working as an orchestra manager since last since the last fall and usually I just take care like with the setups of the orchestra the cleanup and to be like in the middle of the conductor that is Ramson Wilson and the PSO members, uh, I take care of the music, like when we have new repertoire, I have to go to the library and take the music and scan the music, send it to the students. Uh, I have to deal with bad things, with good things. I have to be in contact with the administration office, with the PAC, with the uh, roster list. It's like crazy job, but it's <laughs> worth it. And everyone has been so supportive with me and everyone helps as much as they can. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys can check out The Crucible this weekend. Uh, thank you so much, Gabrielle. Not your way. <laughs> Bye. 
Uh, yes, can I get the spaghetti and a glass of water? Sartani, and for you, madame? Can I have the same? Okay. Oh, oh, actually, for the water, can I have no ice? Oh, hey, man, how's it going? She ordered no ice. Bobby, how could she not like ice? Ice is the key to making water delightfully cold. Doesn't she get that? Bobby. I should just... I should just fucking pelt her with ice. I should just throw it at her in her stupid, pretty face. Jesus, Jesus. Bobby, calm down, okay? The best thing to do right now is to get back out there and play it cool. Just take a breath. Okay. There you go. Feel better, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel a little better. You were right. I know I'm right, man. Hey, so sorry I took so long. Oh, sweet bread. Mmm. Oh, wait, hey, where's your butter? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. I told the waiter no butter. Why? Oh, I like bread without butter. <laughs> Why are you taking your pants off? Bread with no butter. Butter gives bread its buttery goodness. Doesn't she get that? Pull yourself together, man. <laughs> Girl's fucking me. No ice, no butter. She's like, she's like Hitler. I'm really confused. Hey, but even Hitler found love. Now you go out there, and you love the heck out of that Hitler. Okay, okay. you're right. Your analogies are are shit, man. I know they are. You go get her, bud. I'm sorry, I haven't been 100% truthful with you. I didn't know you didn't like water without ice, and I didn't know you didn't like bread without butter. But that's okay. Because you're Hitler. But you're my Hitler. And I'm sorry.
Now let's eat dinner. Sorry, I'm late for temple. Monsieur, you are an asshole.